Hello, this is SodaPop Dude 4, and today I'm going to teach you how to do basic fig, uh, physics in Blender 2.48. So, uh, first of all, we're going to learn how to do the physics for uh, cube. So, first you're going to want to raise up the cube, that way it can fall down. Now, add mesh plane, then uh, size it up by pressing S and just dragging out. Now right click the cube and go to this little Pac-Man shape thing that is the logic tab. Now you're going to need to press the buttons that are actor, then you're going to want to press this little pull up thing that's static and then press rigid body. Then you're going to want to press bounds and then uh, it's ready. So now press, uh, if you press alt A nothing's going to happen. But if you press P it'll preview it and then the box will fall down. To get out of this mode, uh, once the box falls down, press escape. So now uh, I'm going to teach you how to do the physics for a sphere or ball. So first uh, go to add mesh UV sphere, then press OK. Now just raise it up a bit and drag it off to the side. Now go under editing and press set smooth, that way it's rounder. Now we need to set the physics for it, so go under actor, and then press static, rigid body, and then bounds. Now press space, add, and then plane. Now go under this little square and make uh, your plane a little bit longer. Now uh, grab this and move it over again. Now use the rotation and to uh, manipulator tool to create a uh, to turn it that way it's like a little ramp for the wall to go down. So now if you press P the ball will go down the ramp but it'll stop down at the bottom. The reason for this is because under bounds uh, instead of having it for sphere we have it set for box. So make sure that you have it set for sphere or uh, whatever type of shape you have for so it's like a cylinder or a cone. You would need cylinder or a cone. So now if you press P it should roll down and roll off the map. That is the basic physics. Now I'm going to teach you on how to uh, make a domino uh, type thing using the physics. Now press new and then erase all. Now uh, delete the basic cube and then uh, go under add mesh and then Plane. That way we have something for the dominoes to stand on. Now, just uh, insert the plane and uh, just uh, t uh, unselect it. Now press Add Mesh Cube. This will be our domino. So, you're going to want to raise it up a bit. And now, go under this little square button. And then, you're going to want to sh uh, shrink it down more to the shape of the domino. That way it's a bit less cube-like. And I'm just going to recolor it, just to make it look more like a domino. Okay, so now you're going to want to add physics to your domino. So now press uh, actor, and then static, rigid body, and then go under bounds. And then it should already be set to box as the regular set thing. Now you're going to want to uh, press shift D. Uh, while this is selected, then it'll create a duplicate of this. You're going to want to make sure that you raise uh, your dominoes back up to the correct height because they'll lower down a bit while you're shifting. And then you're going to want to take the rotational tool and uh, go to your first domino. Now you're going to want to tilt this uh, slightly, that way it'll fall down and hit the next domino. So now if you press P, it should knock down the rest of the dominoes. Now uh, using these dominoes, you can uh, do cool things like uh, create little uh, like uh, tower type th things uh, by 
uh, taking the cube and resizing it. So here's an example of, of me doing that. Then you're going to want to give it its basic physics. Then press P. And then you're going to get that cool little tower thing. And then it's going to knock down. So that's your basic physics and dominoes tutorial. Thank you for watching. Bye.